Welcome back to another episode of Small Island Prepper. Today we're going to talk about three different sets of items. We're going to talk about personal hygiene, first aid kit, disinfectant kit. Things that we should stock up on now or start putting together, for example, the first aid kit, in order to have it when time comes around, that you can be ready when time reach. Personal hygiene. As most of you can remember in 2020, when the outbreak had started, toilet paper was an issue. Now we have toilet paper in stock. I suggest that you go and get your toilet paper. Stock up on the big 20 rolls. Or if you get a bigger rolls, it all depends on your pocket. Above that, we have baby wipes. As we all know, in most households, have consists of children, toddlers, newborns, adults. Trust me, in a situation when the shit hit the fan, toilet paper might be available if you had stock up on it. And if you didn't and you happen to run out, wipes is your best bet. These wipes are made of, they are baby wipes, made of green tea and cucumber. Nothing is better than very cheap, inexpensive, and it comes with 96 wipes in a pack. Then we have adult wipes, comes with 48 in a pack. Adult wipes, yes. You'll be surprised to see that no toilet paper, if you want to share the other baby wipes with your children, you make sure you have your adult wipes. Now, the adult wipes is basically if you're limited on water supply, you can take, you can literally wipe your entire body down with one of these body wipes. Remember, it only consists of 35 in a pack. So I suggest you stack up on quite a few of these adult wipes. Next to that, we have your little pocket size EDC wipes that you can put in your bag, EDC carry. T3, very effective. It's facial wipes, but you can do other things with it also when the need arises. Hand sanitizer. Again, last year during the outbreak, they flew off the shelf. You couldn't get them. They were not available. They are back, and they are back in abundance, stuck up on them. Now, Dettol liquid hand wash, large size. Dettol but liquid body wash, large size. They are in abundance now at a very affordable price. Go out and get them. They're much better than the hand soaps. And then you have the smaller size liquid hand wash, also from Dettol. With this, when this finish, you tap it up with this, with the larger one. This is the refill. Refill, this is a smaller size bottle. It's a one-time buy or two-time buy, meaning you buy one for your, 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 your bathroom and you buy one for your kitchen, buy the refill bottles. Don't throw away the smaller size bottle because they have the big size to refill it with. Perfect. Because going out purchasing a bunch of smaller bottles is you're wasting money. Two or three small bottles, the larger bottles, you keep refilling it, refilling it. Mask. Very popular now. Everywhere you go, you have to wear a mask. Here's my take on the whole mask thing. When you're wearing a mask, do not wear your mask eight hours the whole day. Remove the mask. I've seen people have on this. They, 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 they will jump in a public transport. They will go into the, 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 the capital. They will go into businesses with the mask, more than one businesses. The mask become dirty. It becomes contaminated. And plus, they're walking through the hot sun with that same mask. What I do, 
I change up my mask at least three times per day. Because remember, they're disposable. And once you have disposable mask, you can change them out accordingly. Three times a day, sufficient enough. If you want to do it four times, depends on how long you're on the job. Um, I go to work at seven in the morning. By 12 o'clock, I already gotten rid of the first one. Between 12 and three, I've gotten rid of the second one. Even between sometimes seven and 11.30, I already gotten rid of the, 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 the first one because I'm coming, coming in contact with people. People are entering the office. I have to leave the office to do certain things. So once I get back to the office, I remove my mask. I don't use it in the office. But if someone comes into the office, I put on my mask. When they leave, I remove it. As I exit the office and I return back, I will dispose of that mask. Three times per day is sufficient. Small tissue paper. Now you will hear the experts say, and I say the experts, they're all about talking about it. When you have to sneeze or cough, cough it in your <coughs> cough it in your elbow. Now, folks, I'm gonna tell you plain. Your elbow is contaminated. Your shirt is contaminated. This is what you're gonna do. Without you knowing it, it's just human nature with us to touch. And then you're gonna end up touching your face. Contaminated. Probably you got a, um, a bug, a virus from someone who entered the office unknown to you. Now you started sneezing. You sneeze in your elbow. <coughs> Are true? It's contaminated. Small wipes. Tissue wipes. Very simple. You get one of these. This is the size. Sneeze, <coughs> cough, dispose of immediately. This thing with sneezing in your elbow, I don't fall for that. You're contaminating yourself and you're contaminating others because you're touching the computer keys. Someone is going to come in. If, they did, if you didn't disinfect the computer keys and the phone and the whatever other electronics you have in the office, they're going to get contaminated now. So let's try to avoid that Sneezing in the arm and using tissue, disposable tissue paper. We're going to go to the first aid kit. Now, I always say this. You don't need to go there and buy an elaborate 50, 60, 150 piece, 150 piece first aid kit. You just need the basics. What I'm talking about with the basics. Hydroperoxide. Very cheap. Buy it by any supermarket out there, any pharmacy. Rubbing alcohol. 70% or higher. Very cheap. Find it any supermarket, any drugstore. These things are available now. Go and get them. First aid bandages. A pack of 50 or more. Non-stick. Assorted bandages. What more do you want than this? This is a family pack. Actually, this having 100 pieces. Are you going to use 100 pieces of bandage? No but you have it very cheap. Neosporin, come on guys, Neosporin, we all know that. You get a little cut, you apply the Neosporin, you apply your Band-Aid. Gauze, pressure gauze. You get a cut, you wrap it with the gauze. Apply the pressure, keep it there. Keep the pressure on from stop the bleeding. Two or three different sizes. Another set of pressure gauze. Very useful, same, same application as the first one. Assorted medium gauze pads. You get a cut, you apply it, and then you put the pressure 
gauze around it. Hold that in place. Again, these are simple, basic first aid items that you can have home. You do not need the big, again, 150 piece set. You're not gonna use all of it. There are one or two other things that I didn't add here that I do have in my, um, my EDC bag or the bag that I go to work every day. I have a smaller version of this. Mix some um, bandages, gauze, pressure, pressure bandages. I have all of that in my other bag also, which includes tape to tape it together. I didn't put it here, but it's, I do have it. Makeup pad wipes, makeup pads, clean your face. You can clean wounds, do a lot of things, a lot of applications you can do with this. You can put some rubbing alcohol on it, clean your skin, remove the dirt from your skin. Very helpful. Q-tips, Q-tips. Again, you get a little cut, you clean the wound with your Q-tip because it's small. Before you apply the new spurin, and then you add the bandage. So that was my first aid kit on a small scale, inexpensive. Most of these items I had in my home already. So I didn't have to go out and purchase nothing. They're there year round. All you have to do is take a look at, look around your, your um, the cabinet that you have in your, 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 your bathroom and you'll see it. You'll find them. I touched the personal hygiene kit, sanitizing, we talk about hand sanitizing, body wash sanitizing. Now we're going to go over to household cleaning sanitizing, Clorox spray, very cheap. It's in abundance out there. Pick up three, four, five of them, put them aside. Every month you go, you buy an extra one, put it aside. This lasts about a month or more. Clorox bleach. It's in abundance out there. Just make sure you have, it doesn't matter what kind of Clorox you have. Bleach is bleach. Care okay, what kind of name it carries. And then you have, of course, the larger one. They all kill 99.9% .9 of viruses. And if you have water store on the outside, you add a little touch of bleach. I usually don't go for that. You know, I just boil the water to a certain to 100 degrees in an electric kettle. Then, you know, you kill whatever parasites, bacteria is there. But that will be a program for another time. We talk about the mask. Very handy. N95 mask. At one point, you couldn't get them on Amazon. You couldn't get them locally, but they're available now. Go out and get them. Go out and get these things. Gloves. I don't have them here, but I do have my gloves, disposable gloves. Get your disposable gloves. Well, folks, I think I've touched about everything that I have here. Again, this kit, you can easily put it together. Very, very simple. Like I always say, tweak it to your likeness. It, adapt it to you, you can adapt to it. Buy what you know you can use, but don't buy things that you know is gonna just stay there and waste. Do not waste money. This is no time to waste money. We need every cent that we can get our hands on that we can keep in our pockets actually to do other things. I would like to send a shout out to a good, a new um, subscriber of mine, Trini, Simple Living. My brother, I got your message yesterday. This is a follow up. Hope you like it. To all the other Caribbean islands out there, small island as well as larger islands, we know what's happening. Follow the weather. Whatever weather channel you choose to look at, it's your choice. Monitor what's going on out there. Um, this is no time to sit back again, relax, 
nonchalant, take it easy, oh nothing can happen, nothing can happen, nothing happened in so much of years. Okay, the experts are already telling us they're coming bigger, moving slower, which makes them more deadlier. And when I say them, I'm referring to the hurricanes. It doesn't matter, just take one to pass through your island and you're done with I could tell you that because I've experienced it firsthand. I've, 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 I was traumatized for days. You know, it, it, it took me a while to get over what happened to my island, St. Martin. But I've recovered. And that is what made me go into prepping and, and teaching others out there about prepping and how to prepare for natural disasters and any other type natural disasters that you can have out there. Some islands have volcanoes. Um, as you know, if you get a, we, we get earthquakes throughout the Caribbean. If we get a massive earthquake one day, we can, we can experience a tsunami. Uh, how, how prepared are we for that? How prepared are all the islands out there for, for, such, a, for the, such a disaster? You know, you're, you're not prepared for those things mentally. Now, what I would like to add also, you could have all of this. You could have all of this. It's good to know you have it, it's there, you're prepared. But if you are not prepared mentally and physically, all of this won't, won't save you. You must be able to think on your feet. When your mindset go, your feet must be able and your body must be able to go also. And that's what I keep telling people. You can prepare all you want, but once you're not physically capable of moving, when time will reach to move in a situation of an SHDF, shit hit a fan, all your preps, everything that you have there, I can consider it going to be a waste of time. You're going to need someone to help you and help you with your preps. Again, my Caribbean people and people throughout the world out there, all we preppers, we know what we're preparing for. We know when the time reaches what we need to do. And don't forget, people's going to come by you for shelter. You can take them in. But at the end of the day, make sure what you have there is going to be for you and you're going to have to share it with them. When the disaster is over, they're going to have to help you replenish what they ate by you. That is my theory. I mean, we're here to help each other, but help me too. Don't put all the strain on me. The letterman. Multi-tool. As a prepper, we need this. You can have another brand, but it has to be a multi-tool. It has to be multifunctional. You must be able to do many things within one, within this five-finger grip. This is the tool. This is the tool. Get one now. They're on the expensive side, but at the same time, it's good. With that, I would like to bring an end to another small item prepper presentation. Go out, get your preps, put them together. It's very inexpensive. I try to stay on a smaller budget. Everything I do is on a small budget. I am, we, are, we are not rich people out there. I am not rich. So I have to economize, as we just say, in the Caribbean and throughout the world. It's a beautiful little kit. Again, most of the items are already in your home. You just have to know to put them together, put them aside, and make sure that they're there. Stay tuned for the next program. Until the next time, Small Island Prepper, out. And remember... They're ready. Are you?